subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss an update from Trick Tracker. Um, yeah, I think the Tri Series helped us um, the preparation for the qualification tournaments. I think um, playing Ireland, Scotland, we, we played them quite a bit, so it wasn't uh, specifically this tournament that helped us. I think just overall playing them a lot uh, has helped us and helped us um, get to a sort of game plan against them. And uh, yeah, played off in, in these uh, conditions in Dubai, uh, helped us beating both Scotland and Ireland. Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, PNG defeated us in the in the group stages. Was um, was actually they they played very well, but we also had a pretty uh, bad day at the office um, against PNG. I think um, the message I really wanted to get across is that if we play at 100% and PNG plays at 100%, we are always going to be the better team. Um, one of the things we just had a look at how they played the game and they uh, run off of a run off of our socks uh, in their first game. Um, where we weren't quite used to and they really put us under pressure in the field and I think one of the main differences was in saying that if we field well um, we, we can put them on a lot of pressure and I think that's what happened in the final and that's uh, yeah, how we got them to restrict to such a low total. Yeah, I was obviously disappointed that the Euro T20 Slam had to be uh, postponed till uh, this year. Um, I think what it will bring for, for, for the youngsters coming through is, is having the experience to play with um, international cricketers uh, besides the ones from, from their own uh, respective countries. I think uh, also having a three week tournament of high quality um, cricket will allow them to sort of see how people go about their business and what it takes to perform at uh, such a level. So it's only for them not only to really learn but also to, to test their skills against the best in the world. Yeah, I think it's uh, very crucial for the Euro to tennis slam to happen in Holland. It's, um, I think, a, a good tournament to have and to raise uh, the profile of cricket uh, in, in the whole of Netherlands, where I think if people can see that uh, cricket is, is being a serious sport in Holland, will definitely raise the profile. And in sort of that regard, we can also um, warm up to sort of the, the, the Pakistan series that will happen in July, which will uh, have us uh, playing a good amount of quality cricket. As a left or spinner for me there was only one one person to really look up to and it was Daniel Vittori. He uses um, his guile and little change in pace and that's something I try to replicate. Uh, so he was the one I was uh, looking to the most. For all the international player uh, batsmen that are going to come to the Euro T20 Slam, one of my favourites would be Babar Azam. Probably one of the better batsmen uh, in T20 and ODI cricket at the moment. Uh, he just oozes class and uh, yeah, it would be great to either pick his brain or just to have a look to see how he goes about his business. Well, the main difference for after I've been playing for so long is obviously the professionality that has come to Dutch cricket. I think when I started we trained about once or twice a week and we played about 20 days of cricket uh, throughout the summer. Um, and I think uh, now we, we train four or five times a week with, with an estimated date of uh, 120 days of cricket throughout the year. I think that makes a whole lot of difference in, in order to play better cricket, you also need to play more cricket. And I think that's, uh, that's what we're doing and it's helped in our consistency levels and the reason why we're uh, going where we're going at the moment. Um, and yes, uh, the, the, the team at the qualifiers was fantastic and definitely one of the best teams I've ever been involved in. Um, if you look at throughout the lineup, um, there, there's star players all over, um, and the bowling was was, was quality, um, especially the fast bowlers. I thought as a unit were fantastic, and um, yeah, just just definitely one of the better teams I've ever been involved in. Uh, of the current Indian lineup, I would uh, definitely like to have their top three actually all out. So I'd like to have the hitman Rohit Sharma out. Shikha Dawan would definitely be one I would be very happy with and obviously Vera Kohli who, um, who I think is the best batsman uh, in the world at the moment. Um, I would definitely love to have his wicket so uh, those are my three.